Well, hey guys, <clears throat> it is March 25th and it's about nine o'clock at night. Um, I'm going to give a little, uh, little update and I'm also going to, uh, answer a question from five wheel, I think was his name, something like that. Um, but first the update, um, I don't know when we're going to get back out again. Um, we just keep having storms through here. Um, up on top of the rim uh, is just, you know, it, it's packed with snow. Typically, they open that up April 1st. Uh, but with the amount of snow up there, I don't know when it's going to get opened up. So... As soon as it gets opened up, we'll be getting up there, but I'm sure we'll be getting back over to Crazy Town at least at least one more time, uh, you know, before uh, the rim gets opened up. So, we're kind of on hold because of weather patterns right now. Uh, the lows, even for Crazy Town, are going to be dropping into the 20s, and we just don't want to go. <laughs> it's cold. Um... <clears throat> But anyway, um, one of the viewers, uh, and I want, I want to say it was Five Wheel, uh, was who posed the question to me um, about, you know, being that I've had sightings up on top of the Mogollon Rim, uh, you know, what did they look like? What color were they? Um, wasn't sure if I have, uh, posted any videos about it. Well, I have, um, just about every sighting I've, I've had, um, uh, you know, I, I've talked about and done the recreations of, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go over them real quick. As far as the colors, um, uh, primarily black, uh, but that could have to do with um, you know, the time of the morning or the time of the night or, you know, uh, at sunset, seeing them walking through the trees, um, uh, that or they're just black. Uh, I have seen two of them that were kind of the color of a grizzly bear or, or my videos where I'm, you know, I got my Carhartt jacket on, you know, that, that kind of light brownish looking color. Um, you know, the ver my very first sighting, you know, the best way I can describe that is he was the color of, uh, of a grizzly bear. Um, one of the last sightings that I had in, uh, over at uh, Broken Mirror, um, you know, definitely did the recreation of that. We put Chuck over... Uh, where I saw him walk by. Yeah, you know, and the one thing I didn't talk about in that video was, at first I just thought it was was another person because back behind where I saw this, um, probably 50 yards, maybe a little more, was another campsite, but they had left on quads, so there was nobody else around. And, you know, when, when I saw this individual walking, you know, it, it, my, my first thought was somebody was dressed just like I was, uh, cause I had my bibs on and I had my, uh, my heavy jacket on and they're both the same color. And it was almost the same color as that. I mean, it, you know, for, for a split second, I was thinking, you know, maybe it was one of the campers and, you know, he's got the same bibs and jacket I have, but, you know, and had, had the hood up on it. And, you know, it was just a quick thought, but I, I quickly realized exactly what I was looking at and that it, it wasn't another camper out there that, you know, it was one of the forest people. And then, uh, I think it was probably back in 2018, 2019, somewhere around there. Um, 
at one of the other locations that's right next to uh, Broken Mirror. Uh, I'm kind of calling it Coyote Camp because that's where my coyote incident happened. And matter of fact, it was the same night as the coyote incident. Um, probably a 10-footer, maybe, maybe bigger because of the distance. Uh, but what I saw was pure white and, you know, it kind of ducked behind a tree. So it was just a real quick glance. But, you know, it, there's only two options of what this could have been, and that's a white forest person or a polar bear. I'm here to tell you, uh, there's no polar bear in the state of Arizona. Uh, they used to have them down at the zoo in Tucson, but I don't believe they're there anymore. You know, so, no, there's no polar bears in the state of Arizona. You know, so, and, and as big as this was, and, you know, and it was standing upright, and it literally stepped, or he stepped behind, you know, this probably 250-year-old pine tree, you know, very large pine tree, and uh, when I said out loud, you know, that I can see you, you know, I got the living shit zapped out of me. Um, the little one, uh, you know, about the size of a nine, ten-year-old kid, twelve-year-old kid, some, you know, somewhere in there, you know, about four, four and a half feet tall. Um, that was my longest sighting, and that was over at uh, Squatch Camp. And I had got up to uh, check my radio because it turned, or no, to turn my radio off because it was getting to the time of night when, you know, I I don't play any music, and you know, had I play native flute music, and that's what was playing, so I got up to turn it off to go quiet, and. About 45 yards away, I, you know, I could see a rustling in the bushes and, and could hear it. And just as I looked over there, uh, little junior steps out and I go, I can see you. And, you know, and that typical pose of when they're walking, you know, one arm behind him, one in front of him, kind of hunched over. Uh, he froze in that position. And, you know, I sat and I watched him for... It, just over two minutes. I think it was two minutes and, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, if I recall correctly, off of my audio, because on the audio, you can hear me talking to this, you know, to this little one. I didn't want to approach him because he was a young one, and I know that when the young ones are there, so, you know, so are the adults, and, and I really didn't know a whole lot at that point in time, you know, not not to the level of what I know now, but, uh, he was coal black. I mean, as, as black as black can be standing upright on two feet, could see both arms, couldn't see the face cause he never looked at me. He kept his head, you know, uh, straight, you know, kind of looking down. And, uh, after that, two minutes and 15 seconds or whatever it was, he had stepped behind a tree and I kept changing my vantage point, you know, to, you know, to be able to track him and catch him as he's walking off or crawling off, um, you know, kind of open in the area, uh, not really any ground clutter or, or bushes on the ground that, you know, he could have crawled behind, you know, he, he just vanished on me. Um, had the same thing happen over at Hilltop. And that sighting lasted just about as long um, over in what we refer to as the Arden Forest. And I heard a branch break and I looked over and I saw an individual standing there and I said, I can see you. And he starts rocking back and forth like this. And I said, I'm going to walk over to you. And, you know, maybe 50 yards, 40 yards away from me, something like that. Uh, once again, no ground clutter. It's a, you know, pretty well camped area, you know, so any loose wood that would be on the ground, campers have used for firewood. And, uh, there had been a forest fire in that particular spot 
you know, just a small one uh, several years back. You know, so there really isn't anything growing on the ground. You know, so I was able to get up out of my chair. I never took my eye off them. I never blinked. And when I got over to the, about to the little two track road that's there, uh, he, he just vanished into thin air. Uh, it was about six foot tall, maybe a little taller, six and a half at most. Um, kind of a narrow build, but once again, upright on, on, on two legs, two arms. You know, I, I could see everything except for facial features. And this one was jet black also, you know, like a piece of coal, just that kind of black. Uh, you know, so that's, you know, that's the gist of it. You know, the, well, I had one of the sightings over at, uh, at Crazy Town was a thinner black figure that ran by. Um, a female over there uh, whose name is Chereen. Um, <laughs> that, that one was kind of funny. You know, I got up to, to go relieve myself over at some bushes and while doing so I see a face looking back at me on the other side of these bushes and and could definitely tell it was a female and you know I, I just kind of looked down and sorry and I finished what I was doing and then I went to step around the bush because I wanted to get a better look at her and there was absolutely nothing there and so for a brief moment I was thinking well maybe this was paradelia or something like that so I went and stood back in the same exact spot and I did everything I could to recreate that and and it, it just wasn't and uh you know so you know, to you know to to have a uh a young female sitting there watching you take a leak um you know all i could do is is apologize about it um she is you know the reddish brown color as well um so so that's three that's the reddish brown the white one and the rest of them have been black so there it is now yeah you can go back all the way through all my archives um and you know i discuss these things and and uh there's if I remember right, every single sighting I've had, we've done recreations of, and you know, and I've given the description. And but I, I figured I'd come on here, being it doesn't look like we're going to be getting out anytime soon, and and post this, and and uh, probably in the next day or two, um, I'm going to make uh, another video. Um, kind of going over what I was discussing in this last video um, about uh, them possibly being the descendants of Esau. And what this next video is going to be about is addressing some of the questions or concerns that were in the comments. And, you know, so I, I'm going to, I'm going to dive deep and, it's, you know, it, it, it's not coming from just my field of learning with, with this subject with forest people, but, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to dive deep in, into some of the other areas of study and research, um, that I have spent equally as amount, equally the same amount of time, if not more, um, researching and studying so uh with without dragging this out you know because i'm tired it's it's bedtime and i just wanted to make a quick video and and get this thing posted up tonight and, and uh you know either tomorrow or sunday i'll i'll get started on these other videos being it's going to be a little while before we get out and you know i'll few things I want to address as far as, you know, in some of the comments and it's nothing bad. So, um, you know, it's just my line of thinking, um, to the questions or the statements that were made and, and so I'm just going to address it, but 
Until then, I love each and every one of you. Please stay safe. Things are getting worse. Be good to each other. And as always, peace out.